Hey guys, so in this video we're going to go over the printing process. So first we're going to bring in an image. So let's bring this image in. You can drag and drop. So once you drag in an image, it'll showcase the image right here. You can make adjustments to the image right here. Click this button to allow you to make custom sizings. So let's say I want to go 10 inches wide. So I'll highlight that 10 inches. It'll automatically change the height of the image or vice versa if I did 10 inches here. As long as this box is checked to lock in the ratio, it'll automatically adjust the opposing side. So let's put that back to 10 inches. I can also tell it where to print on the platen. And then you wanna go over to print. And here you can decide what you're printing on. You can either do black. Over here you can decide what the profile you'll be printing in is. So you have ultra production, which is the fastest and lowest resolution option. And then you have production, which is in that mid range. And then you have high res, which is the highest quality, but the slowest speed. So here let's click production. And then here is where you get to pick what color garment you're printing on. If it's black or white, it's pretty straightforward or any of these colors. If it's something else, you can also pick something in that similar range. So if you have a maroon shirt, you can go with red media. It'll still work out well. So for here, we can go black media production. Here you get to choose what size plan that you're printing on. Usually it's a standard one, 14 by 16, which is the one that comes with your printer. Another option that you can do, which many of our customers prefer, is to open layout right here. Once this layout is open, you can actually go and drag and drop the image here. What that'll do is it'll actually show you the image in relation to the actual platen. So let's say we go back to 10 inches wide. It'll show you where it's going to actually print. So just keep in mind that the top of the box right here is actually the edge of the plan that is closest to you. Now I can do top center. Once I'm done with that, I can just go straight to print, which would be this button right here. I don't have the printer plugged in right now, but you should have Epson F2100 showing and then you click OK and the RIP software will send the job over to the printer. All right. Thanks, guys.